What's up YouTube? It's your girl Tatiana B and I am back with another crazy, stupid, dope, informative video. Um, I really wanted to talk about something really important on my YouTube channel and also inform you guys with what's been going on in my life, where have I been, why don't I post as much anymore, and even just tell you guys what's coming up next in my business and what I have for you guys today. So stay tuned. Um, you do not want to miss this. This video is going to be so important. I'm in a new level, a new space, and I feel like I'm here to share. So stay tuned. Let's go right into it. video as you can see it says 30k in 30 days so first of all I want to let you guys know before we go any further that I am doing a 30k in 30 days webinar what will this webinar be about sales tactics retargeting methods um, customer acquisition understanding your consumers how to make sales how to make 30k in 30 days because to be honest guys this was a really big goal for me and my business why was it a big goal? Because it was just something that I wanted to see myself execute or me and my team execute. And I was like, I need to see this and it wasn't happening. So I had to figure out how do I make it a system or how do I strategically set up my business every month to where I make sure that we reach this goal. And as you guys know, about like a month and a half ago, or maybe even two months, I'm gonna give it like maybe three months. It's probably been three months. Yeah, this was like March. I posted a video and I was like 20K in a month in sales. And that's how much I was doing. And at that time, I didn't even think that. I told you guys that it was a goal for me to exceed past those sales. But it is. So guess what? I decided after I've done it for so long and I broke it down and I figured out what it is that it's going to take a business to make this certain amount of money a month let me give it to you guys and want to know what's the best part about it it's only fifty dollars why did i only make it fifty dollars is because i couldn't make it thirty i couldn't make it thirty dollars because like damn i'm giving away the information for free but i made it fifty dollars just because i wanted everyone to be able to jump on this i wanted everyone to be able to receive this information and level their lives up it's not about you know I'm, I'm making a certain amount of money a month i really didn't need to do a webinar but it's something that i felt like business owners need in today's society a lot of times us business owners don't have the right direction don't have the right mentorship don't know what it takes to really run a business let's just be real about it so i felt like let me give something away to the people that can really level them up, level up their businesses, level up their mindsets, just level up their whole entire flow. So head over to www.divineextensions.com. It'll be on our homepage. It'll be 30K in 30 days webinar. It is this Sunday, May 31st. You do not want to miss it. Now let's step away from all the promo. <laughs> so 30K in 30 days. What I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video is if you have an online store, understanding exactly what your online store needs is a big component of having one. A lot of times we run businesses, and I feel like I say a lot of times, a lot of times, like y'all watch my videos, I be like a lot of times, a lot of times, like damn, talk to you, switch it up. But whatever, we ain't gonna switch it up today. A lot of times in business, we don't understand what our business needs and I always tell you guys we don't understand what the market requires so here we are running this business and we think that okay I have the product I have the Instagram and I have a website the sales should be rolling in I should be making major money that's not how it really works in our reality you have to understand that if I'm gonna play the role as a CEO what does it what does it mean what does it even mean what does it mean to have an online store what exactly is an online store a lot of times y'all don't really understand that and I've been running my business for four years um, we recently did our four-year anniversary campaign where I was pregnant with my business as the campaign if you have not already watched that video and you did not hear about it you sleep it under a rock because are you dumb <laughs> so a lot of times we don't even understand what our business needs 
And if you're gonna be an entrepreneur, guys, I want to tell you something, like a big secret. Take it serious. Too many of you are not taking it serious. And as I've been a business owner for four years, the lessons that I've learned that allowed me to get to this place, because another secret is, guys, I made 30K right after I made that video in March. So April, I made 30K. April, May, no, no, no. March, I made 30K. April, I made 40, 40, 37K. And I was like, why didn't I make 40 this month, I'm on my way to reach 50K in sales, and it is the 25th of May. Which means, it took me a while to get here, but it didn't have to. Why didn't it have to take this long to get here? Because I should have reached out to the right people to learn the right things, or to even evaluate myself and my business at the level that it needed to, or provided the love that it needed to. You know, a lot of times we run these businesses and we running them on 50%, you know, the, or even, let's just be real about it, we running it on 1%. Yo, my phone, I don't know about y'all, but these iPhones, my phone don't work the same on 1%, which means my business is not gonna work the same on 1%. Now, when I started giving my business 100%, I mean hiring the right people, I mean doing, taking the initiative to provide my business with everything that it needed, I watched it grow. And I'm not saying, okay, take these steps it's gonna happen tomorrow no it's through consistency it's through consistency that you see your wins it's through consistency it's through never giving up it's through deciding that you know what it don't the, the, the seed ain't flourished yet but i planted it and i'm watering it that's what a business is all about water your seed now let me tell you guys something else some big businesses and i'm such an inquisitive person y'all like i'm such a I had a little eye boogie. I'm such an inquisitive person and I'm such a wanna understand business person. Of course, I'm a mentor, I have business, so I guess that <laughs> that falls into the route of it. But I'm 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 that person. But tell y'all the truth, I'm that person. I read tons of books. If you have not watched my YouTube video where I provided you guys with information on the books that you should be reading as a CEO, head over to my YouTube channel and watch all my videos because all I do is provide y'all with the juice. But listen, I'm such an inquisitive person that I understand that. Even if y'all, to be honest, I was a truck driver, I would read books on being a truck driver. I would wanna be the best truck driver I can be. I like to operate at exceedingly high levels for myself. I keep high expectations for myself. And if you are the CEO of your business and this is your company, start stepping up to the plate. Even if you is a person that works a job, I don't even really care for the CEO entrepreneur um, subject 24 seven because I'm learning that everybody has a purpose in life. And if you are a person with a purpose, start operating at the highest level that you can. God called you to be great. You are designed to be great. You're not here on this world for no reason. You're not. Start operating at your highest level. Start treating yourself with the highest respect. Start being the best business owner you could be. Start being the best the best you can be to your body. Start eating the right things. Start changing your whole lifestyle. Because at the end of the day, you were designed for greatness. So why would you not operate at the greatness that you were designed to be? And I feel like society has drained us with the, the thought process that if I don't do it like her, I'm not doing it good. And that's not true. Because I wouldn't even want y'all to do it like me because that'll aggravate me. I hate to see people copy my flow personally. That'll aggravate me and secondly, you ain't gonna do it like me, baby. I'm me, I did it, I originated it. How you going you gotta watch my every move just for you to make one move. That's not how that works. You need to dig deep into yourself. If you are a business owner, if you are a person that is a manager, a cashier, I was a cashier at a point in my time. I worked at Checkers, y'all. I worked at Checkers, I started my business with zero dollars. I was a pharmacy technician. If y'all don't know my story, watch my YouTube channel. But if you are that person with a passion, with a purpose, Start operating at your highest level. Do yourself that favor. Step out of your box. Stop, 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 stop thinking that society is going to validate you if you if you meet their criteria. So for my business owners, 
for me to step out and see the level that I had to see in my business, I had to reevaluate my whole game plan, change up the way I was thinking in my business. I had to change up the way I was doing things. I had to change up myself because you guys want to know the truth. As a business owner, personally, when I first started, first, first year, second year, I had people helping me and I'm so grateful for them. They were my friends, but they were only my friends. Did, don't mean that they went to school for the things I needed them to. Don't mean that they had experience for the things I needed them to do. No, they were only my friends. I struggled with putting people in a position that they needed to be in for my business to grow. I wanted to do everything by myself. I wanted to be cheap. I wanted it to be cheap. I didn't want to pay anybody. I'm telling y'all the truth. I wanted to keep my coin. I want. I didn't want to pay anybody. I did. I. I was stumping my own growth. And a lot of times, you may have this business. And I want to tell you something, guys. If your business gets one sale a week, you have position to grow. God has already told you to start wilding out. I'm talking about one sale wild out. Because when I first got my first sale, I sat there and told myself, damn, I, if I get one, I could get 100. I don't even need to stop at 10. I get 100. I knew that I was in a position to wide out in my business. So I did it. So from that point in time, I did it. I wasn't looking for validation because, baby, guess what? You ain't shopping with me, but if one person already did, that means some other people probably looking at me. I need to get it in order. So I started wilding out. You need to understand that. With the level that you are at in your business, there is always room for growth. There is always room for you to do more. There is always room for you to exceed your expectations, for God to exceed your expectations. There is room. This business has purpose. This business has life. Now I'm saying if you ain't getting no sales at all, that don't mean nothing. That just means switch up the flow. Get in your notebook. Write down how you really feel about your business. Step back out of that, this is my baby, this is my business. I'm gonna always say I'm doing great. Quality is great, customer service is 100%, website is 100%. That's a lie, stop lying to yourself. It wasn't until I stepped back from myself as a CEO and my nail is broken, which I just like keep trying. But whatever, quarantine. It wasn't until I stepped back from myself and evaluated my business at a logical perspective as a business owner that I started to understand what it is we need to do. What is my next move? Because to be real, I can't be getting the same, I can't be getting the same complaint and saying ain't nothing wrong. That's a joke, that's a good, that's a joke. You can't be getting the same remarks. Oh, your business is cute, I would shop but and say nothing's wrong. If you are catch at a, do you, if you see a wall, figure out how to go around it. Figure out how to break the wall. Figure out how to break the wall and make it to a hallway. Whatever it is, and I speak a lot on a lot of analogies, so excuse me. But if you are a business owner, and you are running into issues where your business is not growing at the level it should. Switch it up, please. It's 2020, which means the same marketing tactics I was using four years ago in 2016. You 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 know for a fact I ain't using it no more. Y'all know for a fact I'm not using no more. I'm not coming like that no more. I'm not bringing them vibes no more. I'm giving y'all new, fresh. It's a new century, a new decade, whatever the hell. I don't know. It's 2020. It's a new slate. Give your business the, the life that it deserves. A lot of times, we are stumping ourselves from reaching the goals that we need to. We are stumping ourselves from expanding. We are stumping ourselves with fear, with doubt, with 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 criticism with seeking validation we stump ourselves every single day can you imagine that god has already opened up the door for you and all he wants you to do is take off the muck off your eyes and walk through can you imagine if he wants you to do exceed ex, to exceed your expectation he wants to take you so much further but for some reason you are stuck in your own pity it's a joke unfortunately it's a joke you, you we cannot keep operating at this level and say, I want to be great. Shock yourself. I love to shock the hell out of myself. It's like a toxic trait of mine. I'm not even going to lie to you. I love to push Tatiana to, on the wall in a corner and be like, girl, what you going to do? You going to jump? Like, I'm like, you going to jump? You going to jump? And I jump. And after I jump, it's like, oh, wow, I've never been here. I love new conditions. I love, I love new things. So I always take risks. If you are not a risk taker, switch it up because businesses require risk. 
If you if you are saying that I'm a CEO in your bio, but you have not read up on what the great CEOs have done, what it actually takes to be successful. Back then, I used to watch tons of videos, guys, on what it is that every successful person has done. To the extent when my business was not even where it is today, I'm not gonna say big because it's always been big. But where, to the extent my business was not where it was today, I remember sitting in this exact room and YouTubing, not even YouTube, I went on Forbes list and I sat and I looked at everybody, I think the top 100 people, not even, let me tell you, the top 100 women on the Forbes list. And I noticed that there was only one black woman on the Forbes list, first of all. Then, at, at the numbers I was looking at, and then, I was checking how many of them went to college, how many of them got degrees. I just wanted to know for my own ex ex like experiment because I have, if you guys don't know, I'm graduating, blah, 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 I went to school, whatever. I just wanted to know, is it needed? I was at that point where I was questioning things that I was doing in my life, so of course, but I went and seen the trades. Okay, so if 50% went to college and 50% didn't, then guess what? It's an opportunity for everybody to be successful. But what did they do on their off time? What stories were compelled to me that stood out to me, and what and what did I what did I find? What was the trait that I found in all of them? Did some of them inherit businesses? Did some of them have to start from the ground up? I was I was researching because I wanted to be successful, and I am successful. You are successful, but you need to step out of your current state of mind. Let it go, please. I I like please. I want for everyone that I come in contact with to be so successful in whatever they do. And sometimes we we are our, our biggest enemy. We are our biggest distractions. We are our biggest delusion. You are delusional if you think that God is not destined you to be great. You are crazy if you think that God has destined you to walk in that same purpose you've been walking in for five years. God is a God of growth. And if you don't take advantage of the God that you serve and use that faith that all he asks is for you to have faith to come to him and tell him what you want and to walk in his purpose for you, then you sleeping on yourself. Maybe you sleeping on yourself. And I'm just here to let you guys know it's not about the numbers. 30K in 30 days is just to get your attention. It's about the information that I provide. It's about the lives that I'm here to change. It's about the purpose that God has destined me for. You get it? So I'm just here being who I gotta be, and I'm here to help you. If you are ready to expand your business, sign up for my 30K in 30 Days webinar. It is this Sunday, which means there are about six more days, and tickets are running quick, and I will sell out, and I'm gonna speak that into existence. Start speaking things into your life, guys. It's my new faith thing, <laughs> but I will sell out. And I want to let you guys know that I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see you guys on Sunday. There will be a replay available. Unfortunately, and I'm not, not even unfortunately, the, the replay is going to cost more than the actual webinar was yesterday. I'm probably going to put that replay up for about $75.99. Because the information is quality. I don't doubt what I speak, which I felt like I could put $100 on the webinar. But I don't want to get you crazy. But... I know about what I speak. It will be up for replay, but like I said, it will cost more. So, I love you guys. Um, you can expect another video from me really soon about my life update. And I want to say that I love you. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. Step out on